Well, uh, the, the, the Suburban specifically is the, um, is the oldest nameplate in the, uh, in the business. In fact, the Suburban is uh, now with the 2015 introduction, as we see here, is in its uh, now 12th generation. And so it's uh, the longest lasting nameplated uh, vehicle um, in the world. So when you say Mustang, this is older. When That's you say Corvette, this is older. The oldest, <laughs> oldest. Yeah, a lot of brand equity here. Uh, many, many loyal customers for the uh, Suburban and the Tahoe uh, vehicles. All right, so what makes this one better than the previous generation? How well, there, there are just so many uh, new uh, features and That's capabilities. Kind of kind of yeah, when, when you look at the design of the front end, you start with the, the, the jeweled headlamp here, uh, HID um, uh, projector beam with a DRL lit, lit signature there. Um, iconic Chevrolet uh, front end here. Um, tremendous number of uh, driver uh, alert and driver assistance technologies and for example at the front of the vehicle here uh, front park assist features on this on this vehicle which helps uh, people uh, confidently park uh, new for new for the uh, 2015 model year that goes in conjunction with rear park assist which has been in prior vehicles these vehicles also have uh, uh, forward collision alert and, and lane departure warning a camera mounted just on the inside of the windshield there just uh, front of the uh, uh, inside rear view mirror there's also um, uh, 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 forward um, uh, lane departure warning, and we also uh, uh, feature on this uh, the, the, this truck uh, a collision imminent braking. There's radar that's mounted in behind this uh, fascia here that looks down the road there. So, for example, when you have uh, this vehicle in uh, cruise control and you've set a distance or a gap to the vehicle in front of you, this, this truck will maintain that gap. And, and uh, if the vehicle in front of you stops quickly, this, this will take action too by, by applying the brakes and helping the driver control the vehicle. Absolutely. Safety is such a, a, an important um, uh, consideration for customers here as, as they uh, uh, move their families and, and their material. And, and uh, it's uh, three, 360 degrees, I like to say, of safety on, on this vehicle. Yeah, I'm lis lifting the uh, hood, by the way, on, on these uh, 20 light. Suburban. It's light. It's made of aluminum. Weight and savings. Weight savings. And so is the lift gate on this uh, vehicle as well. The lift gate also, by the way, um, um, when we get back there, I'll, we'll demonstrate it has a, a, an adjustable height opening uh, capability for the lift gate. Now, uh, looking in the engine compartment here, we have the 5.3 liter Ecotec 3 uh, engine. Uh, a great combination of fuel economy, in fact, uh, depending on the model. Um, in the city, um, 7% improvement, the highway 10% versus prior models, so you can get up to 2 miles per gallon uh, improvement on highway. And that's because it's got cylinder deactivation, right? Yes, this, uh, this vehicle, uh, uh, when, uh, when uh, not uh, pulling or, or uh, um, carrying heavy loads, will run in four cylinder. That's really cool. Yeah, it's, it's neat, coupled with the uh, direct injection and the variable valve timing. And I think the numbers are 1622 on the all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Yeah, 1622, and on the uh, two-wheel drive, 1623. Yeah, 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 and it's the same engine that's obviously in the Silverado. Yeah, yeah, we're we're very happy with with uh, with this engine. It, it's a it's a, a, a great uh, um, uh, size, and it, it really uh, makes this uh, vehicle drive. Uh, you know, it handles very nimbly. You know, the other thing we've added to to these trucks is electric power steering. It makes uh, the steering uh, uh, great in, in, uh, in, in uh, parking lot type maneuvers, and then when you get on the highway, the buildup is really nice, and uh, steering is just outstanding. Yeah, it's also a bit of a fuel economy, right? It's yeah, not yeah. Much parasitic loss. Ab absolutely, it doesn't draw on the engine, and, yeah. and uh, our calculations uh, add about uh, half a mile per gallon just on that technology uh, alone. Um, 
the uh, adjustable uh, boards here are also at night. They have a lit signature here. So uh, let's see if we turn on the lights there. They were on probably uh, too day too they're, daytime. Yeah, it's probably too much daytime, but, but uh, it actually has a, um, an LED, Underneath. a set of lighting there that, that, that lights up the, uh, the entrance here. Really, really tough puddle lights, basically. Yeah, a puddle, yeah, and, and of course uh, for both rows. Um, what we've done here to, the, to, to this truck here is uh, we've redesigned the whole body side of this vehicle now. The doors are inlaid into the body side and we've triple sealed them. Um, this contributes dramatically to the quietness of this vehicle. There is no quieter uh, full-size SUV in the segment. And in fact, um, um, when, when, when you are in these vehicles here, uh, I, I like to refer to it as whisper quiet. Now, when you look at the, um, the design of this interior, you can see here, this is a Coco Dune color uh, here, the, the uh, just a, a tremendous um, design here and, and the gauges, the buttons, the knobs for uh, headlights or your four-wheel drive system or your trailer brake controls or adjustable pedals, your uh, retractable running boards here, lane departure, uh, stability control and your uh, front and rear park assist, all easy to see here. Your uh, wiper controls are, are all uh, mounted, including your rear right right in one place. The trucks now have um, optional um, power, tilt, and telescopic column up and down here for, I mean, there's for customers. You can't get in this. There's you really can't nothing get, here right that, that you, you can't get in. Most luxurious uh, sedan, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, you know the cluster is a, is a great uh, six gauge cluster with a 4.2 inch uh, uh, driver information center with all kinds of information here, everything from your your trip to your fuel economy to your tire pressure. Uh, you name it, that all uh, comes up here. Your forward collision alert, I mentioned that earlier. You can control the gap to the uh, vehicle in front of you with the switch here on the steering wheel. This truck also is equipped with a heated steering wheel. Which is, once you have it, you don't go back, man. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a great feature to go with, to go with the heated, uh, heated and cooled seats, which uh, would be in this model. The other thing we wanted to do uh, here as we re redesign the system is, is allow more room for customers to get in and out of the back. This, this truck is equipped with the uh, captain's chair second row. You can also get a bench seat second row. But, but in this area alone right here, we took approximately two inches, giving the customer two inches more um, room here as they swing around the seats, right. and that's a big deal. Well, let's look at the back. And this is the yeah. Suburban. So this is the, this this is is the Suburban. Size. Yep. This is a Suburban. As big as it gets. Yep, as big as it gets. Um, here you can see uh, one of the great things about this is we've now, no, no more does a customer have to uh, take the third row seats out. This yep. is now seats in the floor, fold flat. And so these, um, these buttons here, oops, there there we go. Go. Nice. down yeah. there, and then... Uh, That's a lot of room, my yeah, God. It's a lot of room here. You can here. get a boat in here. You a boat in here, and as, as you see right here, this is a storage. a storage system here, and uh, the, these trucks now have adjustable height on the uh, lift gate as well. You can control and, and set the height on it. The other thing that um, we're really excited about is we moved the windshield or the, or the rear uh, wiper arm that was located in this location right there. It? It's now up here. Oh, nice. Mounted up underneath there, saves uh, uh, life for the wiper arm and, and just really improves the design of the and vehicle. Jeff, the last thing, I guess, if you're towing 8,000 pounds or just over Yeah, it's 8, about um, 8,600. Uh, yeah, yeah, to pace a two wheel drive is 8,600, and yeah. I think it's 8,300 on a, uh, a boat, four wheel drive. Oh, yeah. yeah. Plenty, of, plenty of huge trailers. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you.